Hey what's going on guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial this tutorial is related to elemental design and tips and tricks video in this video I'll show you how you can create this kind of image box and when you hover over any item we can see the text is appearing this is very cool and fun effect for elementor so if you like to see how you can make this kind of hover effect with any image box without any further ado let's get started first i'm taking a new section and here taking a three column structure then going to edit section and height making the height to fit to screen and for section background going to style tab then background type we can set a dark blue or black color going to color i'm setting the dark blue and now for the column first i'm taking a inner section here taking this inner section and removing this one column and keeping another one and now for this section background we can set the white color going to style tab and background type we can set the color to white and then here I'm going to add some image and text so click on this plus icon and first I'm taking image then going to upload a image so here I have already uploaded several images I'm taking this one for the first one and then here I'm going to add a title text then some description text so going here and taking this heading then taking another text editor below this title text and for the first one going here and I'm changing the text to here you can type anything I'm adding some features so here you can type feature one and then going to style tab you can set the text color to black and the typography i'm changing the font family to poppins and the font size we can make it to 22 or 25 is good then font weight font weight is bold okay and the alignment so going to content making the alignment to center and finally this text going to style tab alignment to making it to center and the text color for the second color if i go here you can take the color with the low contrast from the first title so making it to 333 and typography making the font family to poppins then font size we can make it to 15 all is good all right now for this whole column we can add some padding so going to edit section going to the inner section and going to advance now for padding we can add 20 pixel or we can make it to okay i am adding 18 pixel and all is good now for the image we can move it to the top so going to edit image and going to advance now for the margin first making it to unlink and for top we can add some minus margin like minus 70 all right so we can keep it like this if we check here so it looks like this and also we can decrease the spacing between these two so going to the text going to advanced tab and margin making it to unlink so here you can also add minus 10 yeah looks okay i have added minus 15 and finally i think we can decrease this font size a bit so going to style tab and here we can make it to 22 looks good and save changes so our design is done and now i'm going to add some hover effect with this text box so here i want to hide this text this title and the description text on the default state and when we hover over on this box area we can see this text will appear so for that first i'm going to this text and here for these two text i want to add a class name so going to advance and from my website if i go here just copy this class name 
and here is the CSS class I am pasting this class name and also for the text from advanced area I am adding this CSS class name and then going to the edit inner section and from advanced tab if I scroll down here is a custom CSS options by the way this custom CSS options will be available only for the Elementor Pro version so if you still did not get Elementor Pro I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can get it from there and after activating the Elementor Pro you can see these options will be available to your website and then I'm going to add some CSS so finally I'm going to my website I will also leave this page link in my description so you can check it from there I'm just going to copy all this text sorry all this CSS I'm going to copy and here simply paste it and boom you can see the hover effect is working so in default state we cannot see the text and when you hover over you can see our text is showing and in the CSS if I look at the line by line so from CSS we can keep all as it is only the selector height I mean the intersection height so here I have added 200 so you can change the height to as per your image height for example if I make it to 100 so we can see the height is decreasing I'm making 200 and now if I hide the sidebar so we can see 200 is works for me fine so this is okay for me and finally I'm going to duplicate this section and adding to all others so going to duplicate and moving it to the second one one more time and moving it to the third one and now changing the image for the second one going to upload another one selecting this one and for the third one adding this one and also changing the text and for the third one all right so we are done and finally I'm checking the responsive view from the bottom left corner and hiding it now going to the tablet so here I need to work for the tablet view so first I'm going here again and scroll down so here is some CSS code for responsive view I'm also going to copy this code and going to my editor and for the first one going to edit section and now I'm going to add my CSS for responsive and now we can see the tablet view for this first one is working fine and also if I check the phone view we can see for the first one the height is okay going to the tablet view again and for the text we can decrease the text size for tablet going here and going to style tab typography we can change the font size I'm adding 18 pixel for tablet and we can also decrease this text so going to this text going to style tab and typography you can add 14 pixel all right so I think this is okay for tablet and if I also check the phone view so for phone this is also looking good and now going to the tablet view again and going to copy this text and all the CSS from the first one to the another one so going to the title copy and paste style also for the third one yeah and all this text looks good and for the inner section going to copy and paste style and also for the third one paste style all right so our tablet view is okay and the phone view phone view is okay and here you can add some spacing between this each item 
so going to the first one and from advanced tab we can add some minus margin or margin in top and bottom so i am adding 20 pixel in top and bottom or i am adding 50 pixel yeah looks good and going to copy the first one and for the second one going to inner section paste style and for the third one paste style all right so it's looking like this now and for the second one we can decrease the margin so going to advance and here we can make it to zero for top and for the third one yeah this looking good so we have removed the margin from the middle one and it looks okay for the rest of the item now crossing it and finally save changes all right so here is all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.